Welcome to Open Book with Amanda, where today we're going to talk about who causes trust issues, the obstacles they take you through, and how you can start trusting again. Today, let's open up the chapter on trust issues. The things that causes trust issues, it starts way back from when you are a little child. And sometimes as you get older as a teenager and on up into adulthood, there's different things that happen to you that are cause trust issues. One of the things is starting from a child is like parental lies. Um, one or the other parent may make promise to you that they're gonna come pick you up, especially if there's separation in a home or a divorce. Um, one parent might promise you they're gonna come get you for the weekend and never show up. Um, they promise they're gonna take you to different places and they never take you. They promise they're gonna be there for your birthday, they don't never show up. And it end up making you having trust issues right from the start. And make you not believe anybody else when they tell you they're gonna do something unless they actually do it. Um, another thing that can cause trust issues is telling secrets um, to people, your friends, even family members. And you end up hearing those secrets from somebody else that you know that you didn't tell it to yourself. So that that creates um, a real big trust issue with with different people when you, they can't keep nothing that you tell them. Um, there's also like um, medical um, lies, malpractice things that doctors may do sometimes to trick you into. I ain't gonna say trick you, but they might give you a diagnosis and and you might not have it just so that you can keep coming to them. I, I know that to have happened to people. Um, and I want to share this disclaimer. Um, the things that I talk about up here is things that I've known that actually has happened to me or a family member or a friend. Um, but at the same time, um, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a licensed physician or anything like that, so I'm not going to go into detail about medical issues and stuff like that. But I just know that things have happened that cause people not to trust doctors. Um, another thing that can cause trust issues is jobs. They can tell you that you're secure, that you can work there as long as you want to, and then all of a sudden something come up and you're laid off or you're let go, furloughed. The like, pandemic caused a lot of people to lose their jobs and made a lot of people not really trust employers anymore. And you've seen and probably have heard the amount of numbers of people that just refuse to go back to their jobs because of what happened to them. They don't know. It's hard to to make a, a living behind uncertainty. And a lot of business has been created too behind it. Um, we'll talk about that on that on another day. Now, the question is, how do we get over these issues? How do we stop hindering our happiness and our future because of the trust issues? Well, for one, we have to stop reliving what has happened in the past. There ain't nothing you could have did to stop that person or persons from doing and saying and, and, and not following through on what they're supposed to have done. You don't have any control over that. The only person you have any control over is yourself and your actions. And when you're faced with issues like this, you need to... It, re, re, rewrite how you are gonna handle things when it happened again or if it happens again not necessarily mean it will happen again but if it happens again you need to learn how to, to handle those situations so that you won't be put into a magnitude of pain that you can't handle and that pain can lead to depression and anger issues and you having to maybe get some anger management you take it out on your future relationships and that's not good because those future relationships didn't do to you what that 
person or persons did to you in the past. So you got to re re start reliving it and rewrite how you're going to react and how you're going to carry yourself into the future so you can continue being happy. Um, another thing that you can do is every day that you get up and you know you're facing these obstacles and the trust issues. Every day you get up, write down 10 things that you're grateful for. You're grateful for having another day to be able to accomplish goals. You're grateful for your family. You're grateful for being able to breathe and live on this earth. You're grateful for having a roof over your head. You're grateful for, you know, whatever it is that you're grateful for. Write those things down every single day that you get up so you can start putting in yourself more um, grace and having more love for yourself so that when those issues arise and people do stuff to you, it don't phase you the same way. Now, I tell you this because I've been through the disappointments. I've been through the lies. I've been through the secrets being told that you thought you that person you trusted with your secrets. I went through the parents lying to me on a constant basis, telling me they're going to be there for me and not be there for me. I went through the jobs telling me that I had it. I was secure and then got laid off. I went through being cheated on. I went through the diagnosis of stuff that wasn't true and was trying to be put on medication that I didn't need. I, 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 I mean, I went through those trust issues myself, but the thing about it is they don't write my story. They don't keep my chapters full of negativity and pain and the trauma that it can cause when you carry those issues with you. You want to stop doing that. You want to live a life that's fulfilling, that's abundant, that is that you don't have no worryation behind thinking that somebody's going to do this to you again because the question is not whether somebody going to do it to you again is how you going to handle it when they do it because the only person you know is yourself and sometimes you can't even trust yourself you would do things you never thought you would do in closing on this chapter of trust issues we it all boils down to you trusting you and how you gonna write your story, how you going to fulfill your life goals, how you going to stop letting people tell you that you can't and you won't and I'm gonna do and treat you how I want you to treat you and you don't have to accept that. You are in control of the chapters of your life and i want you to open up that book and you start writing down the things that you can accomplish and start letting go of the pains and the traumas that other people have tried to cause and place upon you because you don't have to accept it you don't have to embrace what somebody else put upon you because that's their business not yours so the next time you come into a situation and say for instance a job and they tell you oh you're secure and this and that and then they come to you and say they're going to lay you off you say thank you for what you have given me but you just open the door for me to do something more grand with myself next time you're faced with uh, a significant other telling you and treating you like you're lesser than a human being and wanting to be with other people tell them then go ahead and be with other people. Leave me alone and let me be with peace with myself because I'm no longer going to accept you doing that to me and treating me in a way that could also cause me the end of my life because you're cheating on me, meaning that you're possibly could be passing me diseases and other things. So I don't I'm no longer accept that in my life. It's time to move on. I tell you something else. My grandma always used to tell me when somebody cheat on you and treat you bad, honey, there's too many f more fish in the sea than for you to sit here and settle for that little slimy thing that 
that laid upon you and treating you like you lesser than a human being. My grandma said other things, but I can't say this on the video. <laughs> but um, just know that you are special, that you're wonderful, that you are worthy of having a happy and peaceful life. And don't let those trust issues and, and things that other people try to put upon you, don't let it chain you down. Throw them chains away and keep walking and keep moving and find what you're really looking for so that you no longer have those trust issues in your life. Thank you for tuning in with me. Until the next chapter. Bye.